We're about 200 miles away from Silverdale, so we've charged up to 131. Now we've got a long stretch of roadworks. Now roadworks are your friend in one of these, because if I can manage to drive very economically, it'll be interesting to see what 131 actually does as a range. Very interesting. So. so it's dark, we're not wearing sunglasses. We do have a full charge of battery. No, we don't. Yet again, <laughs> we have taken a full charge from that for this, but no, was, we're on 131. I was paraphrasing. Well, stop paraphrasing, because otherwise you mislead. And I'm clearly so, not wearing sunglasses, and the tank is clearly not empty, and there's not a big speaker on the roof either. Well, the, the tank is clearly not full, is what you mean, and okay. we're not heading to Chicago. And it goes on. <laughs> so, just to reiterate. What, just keep driving? Just keep driving. We will keep you posted. Stay tuned. So we're now joining the M40 North. We have 129 miles of range to go and 195 miles in real term distance. So it's averaging about a mile for mile. So we're in eco mode. We're on Regen 3. I will change that to one now because we're going to be traveling around uh, probably 65, 70 miles an hour. Uh, 10 o'clock. And what time are we estimated to get home? 1.10. <laughs> so yeah, this um, is just going to be normal driving to see if we can economize and see how many times. Yeah. If that makes sense. However, we've checked Zap. I have to say it's an app that we do love. Yeah. And it's given us a nice route map to show us on our way home where to find chargers and that's why we're going to Dutsford. Yeah. Because we know, having checked it, that they have the chargers that we want to use that are compatible with the car, that they have the kind of... Ooh, Pro Drive! Ooh, Pro Sorry. Drive. <laughs> Can I keep that it's in? Come out! <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's come out! So it's gonna happen. It's always gonna happen on every journey. Where was I? Yeah. I Zap, the app we love. It gives you information that's kind of like real time and up to date. It'll tell you you if can also devices, vote if they're not broken. Yeah, there are Look. it will tell you the status of the device. And it has interactivity is what I'm yeah. trying to say. So for, for example, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that app and have a look for the one we just used at Chall and say, yep, yeah, everything's working, did the job, very happy with it, and rate it to say happy with the device so people will know that it's just been used and it is in good working order. Speak to you later. say 115 range to empty, so we will catch up in... Mm, Cats up! Uh -huh. Cats up what, in about 100 miles? Yes, in about 100 miles. Cool. Give you an update. Speak to you soon. Bye. The night train. Showing our age. 75 miles to go. 81 miles in actual distance needed to travel. Yeah, this is uh, going to be an interesting one. We may have to change plans, but we'll currently we're following a 40 footer and uh, that's keeping us to a nice 57 miles an hour. As Ben would say, there have been the odd, uh, the odd blippages in having to <laughs> blip. eradicate muppetry. <laughs> uh, uh, yes. To actually get out of the way of muppeting driving. Yeah. And the ob obviously the blips do affect the range. I'm also thinking it must be quite windy because 40 footers today are just swaying all over the shop, and there's absolutely no movement in this. None at all. Nothing. We are in an SUV with very soft suspension, so I expected something, not nothing. That is true. Ooh. Oh. Let me. Because then we're going to hit the, the M6, so we're doing very well actually. Yeah. We have recouped some. There Thank you go. You. 75, so look, four now. Yeah, as I said, we are making it right. I'm sorry, guys, I'm going to yawn. <sighs> Right, and on that note, we'll carry on and come back when um, we're a bit closer to the charger. Yes. As you can see, I have a fine view. A 40 footer. We're on the M6. We've just packed, well, we're kind of in the middle of Birmingham by the look of it. We chose not to take the toll, knowing that we would be going at an economical speed. My, was that a bad idea? <laughs> Check this out. Oh dear. Yes. And it's not like we can even recoup any range because we're not actually moving. We I are. think we will be stopping at Keel. 
Look Look on the bright me. side though, we did see some mushrooms and a Viking hat on the back of a wagon. Oh, as Annabelle said, some mushrooms in a Viking hat. Yes. They Range 55 really... miles mm. and Hang on. just a quick update. Ah, we have to do 59 miles, so we're on that four mile kind of meet. We've done quite well until I blipped it and I ruined it all. What do you mean you blipped it? You blipped it more than once. No, I didn't. Not on that go. Mm. One thing to note, you have a footrest on the left hand side. That's really handy. I've only just found it. Hence really? why I'm saying it. Yeah. First. Oh, we're moving. Yeah. Oh, well. We're moving. We're oh, moving. Actually, the uh, gate wagon next to us is moving. Yes, the middle lane's moving. Oh, 10 please. past 11. We're not going to be back till 1 0. No, uh, arrival. Yeah, that's only showing until the next charge point. Oh, no. Yes. So, um, word for the tire. Annabelle's now singing, so <laughs> I'm going to. Actually, I'm going to put the window up because the diesel dieselage. I said you had a power panoramic sunroof, but you also have a power blind as well. Can we Which you can close with the sunroof open. Now, turn around. And you can have the blind closed with the sunroof open. How oh, cool. Hmm. Sit rep, still sat here, 55 miles, 59 miles. Mm -hmm. Are we moving? No, no, we are not. We're also going to tell you now that the front windows are one touch, so the windows go down, and so are the rear. I don't know if I noticed that on the other one. It might be new. Hmm. It is very cool, and it is extremely feasible to do a long haul in especially with this charger where you can just literally pay with a card or download the app and pay with your app well i have to say i did like that ecotricity yeah. it was very user friendly i did like the you probably heard the wagon rev now i'm gonna give me a no i'm not i've got an electric motor i can't you don't normally get this. Anyway, what we'll do is we'll come back when we get to our next charge point. Just seen that. <laughs> right, now stop the damn video. Okay. It's going into the other lane. Yeah. Oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. He's not worried about range, is he? No, neither are we. <laughs> All it does is slow the traffic down if you go, don't get in. You know? Yeah. Update, we are out of the roadworks. Absolutely bonkers that was. Down to one lane with a, another motorway merging onto it. Spaghetti Junction. It was crazy, wasn't it? Crazy. Mm. We did have some banging tunes though. And we saw a unicorn. Ah, 50. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Our range to empty. Perfect. Right, so we've just had a warning now saying it is... 40, 50. So we have 46 actual miles in distance to go. And we have 40 miles of our aim. We are now heading into, as Ben said, an area of uh, reduced speed of 50 and how this affects our regen. Yes. To see if we can bop it up a bit. Yeah, see what happens. Yeah. Uh, can you put it on two for me, please, Annabelle? Two. Right, let's see what two's like. Mm -hmm. I really used two. No. Right. So there you go, there's the update. Yeah. 38 miles of range and 43, so about five, five out. miles out. Yeah. yeah. Annabelle, use the air conditioning and the fans to demiss the window and it is quite rapid. It was literally seconds. Pew pew! Can you come and get this pew, gas? Pew pew! <laughs> We've connected the vehicle. As you can see we're at an Ecotricity one again, electric highway. Rapid charge network. We've connected the vehicle it's done the isolation check, no, pre-charging and charging. Charging voltage, yeah it's charging. Are we at 
KL Services M6 Northbound Junction 15. Yes, we are. Yeah, yeah. Just show that phone. It's charging already. So there we go. Whoa! Did you know it did that? What's it doing? Oh, that is so cool! Technically, it's electric. Why not? No. Well, it partially worked. Got an error that time. Welcome. Okay. Right. Looks like we recovered it fine. Let's try again. Mm, deja vu. Okay, so connect your vehicle back, it's... Stop communication. It did say that somebody had hit the emergency stop. Beware that somebody now. may stop it. Yeah. Yeah. So if you don't save your car... Well, we're going to sit with the car and see. Yeah. It may well be... It may well worth... It may be worth whilst you... <laughs> point! It may be worth whilst you're having a recharge and a refresh whilst the car is charging that if you know you're going to be inside the service station for say like 45 minutes pop out halfway through just check the car is still charging if you can't see it in case someone something's happened or someone's knocked it or case in point somebody's pressed the emergency stop panic button likely it would probably happen more at night with drunken high, high jinxery as you can see it has a percentage bar and it says miles as well Thank you very much, Mr. Electricity Charger, or Mrs. That should be perfect. We've got about 95 left to go. Okay. It's ten past three. Hello. We've just recharged. We've got 144 miles now, and the distance home is 95 miles. So we're going to try and travel at the higher motorway speeds now. Because you're like this. 95 in terms of actual distance to go. Sit rep when we get back, which will be... Tomorrow. Yeah, 3.11. <laughs> cool. Right, bye. A couple of people have been asking about the active cruise control, and here it is, in all its glory. We are doing 72 miles an hour, but according to Waze, we're doing Speed dead on 70. Speed camera reported ahead. Yeah. And how does it feel to drive on active cruise control on the motorway then? It feels very good. I've not actually used any of the active bits of it yet because I've not come across a vehicle. Okay, right. No. But when we come up behind this wagon, I want to see what happens. So I'm going to drop him behind it. And we'll it looks to me like you can set the distance and that kind of thing. So we'll see what it does. Okay. It's a bit difficult. I was just getting a disembodied voice. Of right, it's picked up on the vehicle in front Excellent. and it's slowing down. Ah, there yes. we go. So I will now indicate round. Uh, as you can see, then it did quite harsh braking. Very good. Now I've steered round it. It's pulling back up to 72 miles an hour. Yeah. So yeah, very nice impressive. Energy. Sat on cruise control, eco mode in Regen One. 114 miles and 74 miles left to go. But it's also an extremely smooth ride. It is. Very comfortable. And also the active cruise control, if you knock it up or down, it goes up in increments of five, or you can set it by pressing the button on the end. So we've got some interesting road works going on here. Should we have a look? I'll turn Again. the lights off. Yeah. Again, yes. We seem to be... Destined uh, not to get home tonight, aren't we? I know. Well, we certainly didn't get home <laughs> at night, did we? No. It's now oh, in the morning. We're on the final leg now. It's a wee bit later than okay we planned or, antici or anticipated. However, to be honest, it's been a fair while 
that we've done a road trip of this kind of magnitude. Yeah, it is. And to be able to do it in something as fine. Oh, another lane now. Oh yeah, surprise. You know, with a vehicle as fine as this one, I have to say, it's so Watch out. Great works reported on the road ahead. Thank you, Waze. Thank you, Waze. It is a pleasure to drive. It really yeah. is. It handles speed so well. It's lovely for me because it, I get to see you experience what I did at the launch. Yeah. It's just a dream. It really is. It's so much fun. It's so responsive. It's so easy. Well, that's it. Mm. If um, you're not careful, you would quite easily get up to probably three figures or extremely close. Yes, I, because that's it's it. you, you, like lightning. Yeah, you can have even a lot in of fun eco in mode. This. You yeah. can still blip it to get out of trouble, which is really cool. Yeah. In terms of actual range, we have 44 miles left, which is the range to empty, and we are 30 miles from home. We're just coming to junction 32 of the M6 North, where it splits to either go to Blackpool on the M55 or carry on up to the lakes. For the M6, so we're just, nearly home. I was going to say, just to stress though, um, we may have been going a little more than 70. You do manage to get around, I think it's 1.5, so you're using half a mile more than you would do at say 50. That makes sense. It does. Which would explain the extra usage. That's what I'm trying to get the point. Oh, across. right. I see what you mean. So, in terms of the fact that well, we've, we've got now dropped right. dead onto, onto 70, mm -hmm. and it seems to have levelled out and gone mile for mile again. Yeah. But if you are a touch over, it does make quite a difference. Yeah. A lot of thought and attention to detail has been put into this. That showed very much so at the launch. You could feel the love and being able to drive it was just fantastic. And being able now to review it so so soon yeah, after the launch is just And do brilliant. some, you know, really worthy trips in it because that's what we've the most thing that we've been asked since part one went out is and it's not just asked, is it? No. It's commented on that we are the only people that have attempted to do anything remotely like this. And I'm really glad because we've really, really enjoyed it. We've shown some strange driving ahead, so apologies for the gap there. Yeah. We've shown that it is actually very doable. You do need to actually plan for a longer journey, but having to take breaks, I think is only a good thing. Well, it is a very good thing. Well, you, that's. If you think about it, think back to when you went on family holidays, you'd stop, go and get, you know, something from the restaurant at a service station or a McDonald's or a Burger King or, you know, a sandwich from the shop. Yeah. And now, today's life has got so fast that people forget to eat, they forget to recharge. They're literally, oh, got to drive there, got to get there. Quick, quick, quick. One stop, yeah. yeah. And, we, yeah. and, we're all, and we've all done it. Yeah, we have. We've all been there. I was going to say, we used to do it a lot. Yeah. And okay, we've had an extremely long day in terms of what we've been doing in the day, in terms of filming, delivery, you name it. And then on top of a full day, we packed everything up and headed up. So it's taken us to, what, a 19 hour day, probably longer. And it's actually been really good fun. The thing is, it's been easy with this car. Yeah, exactly. It really has. Oh, excuse me. Cable's quite heavy. We are home. We're a few miles from home. And we had enough range to get back. It would have had a few miles left. However, we thought, you know what? We've not used a polar charger yet. Yep. So we'll just see how quick and easy it is to use. And look at this. Pulsing, I would say, which shows that it is receiving charge. And if we look at the screen. Yeah. The time is. Don't, my word, don't even say it. Just don't even 3 say it. 3:20 a.m. Woohoo! And um, yeah, we've been to four charges, and they've all worked seamlessly. It's. Um, it's it's really really nice to see. It is. Yeah. It's it's not this horror story that you hear about. It is extremely feasible to do this on a family holiday. Well, we've just proved it, haven't we? We've just road we tripped have. for like 302 miles or something. There you and go. two of those charge points uh, at the service stations that we used were on free charge. 
Yeah, they so were. So we didn't even we didn't even have to pay for the charge. So you that's the thing. You might pay 20, you might pay 30 kilowatts per hour or you may hit one that's free. Mm. And, and that's at the moment, you know, Sorry to interrupt you there. This, since we've been talking, this one has gone off from a six to a ten percent charge, yeah. and that's been a pound. Yeah, that's, exactly. Yeah, yeah it's it's um, it is great because mm -hmm. we're just going to literally do a bit of a quick charge on this now, and then go back get some sleep. There we go. It's obviously very sensitive. One pound twenty. One pound twenty for twenty percent. And that's all we need. Oh. Thank you. Good night. <laughs> we hope to get some well-earned sleep. <laughs> <laughs>